नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण मैनिफेस्टिंग टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी टू एंड टेक्स ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑफ चैप्टर वन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन गॉड रियलाइजेशन ऑफ सेकंड कैंटो द कॉस्मिक मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी टू राजो वाच यथा संधार यते ब्रह्मन धारणा यत्र सम्मता या दृशी व हरे दाशु पुरुष मनोमलम द फॉर्चुनेट किंग परीक्षित इंक्वायरिंग फर्दर सेट ओ ब्राह्मणास प्लीज डिस्क्राइब इन फुल डिटेल how and where the mind has to be applied and how the conception can be fixed so that the dirty things in a person's mind can be removed the dirty things in the heart of a conditioned soul are the root cause of all troubles for him a conditioned soul is surrounded by the manifold miseries of material existence but on account of his gross ignorance he is unable to remove the troubles due to dirty things in the heart accumulated during the long prison life in the material world he is actually meant to serve the will of the supreme lord but on account of the dirty things in the heart he likes to serve his concocted desires these desires instead of giving him any kind of peace creates new problems and thus bind him to the cycle of repeated birth and death these dirty things of fructive work and empiric philosophy can be removed only by association with the supreme lord the lord being omnipotent can offer his association by his inconceivable potencies thus persons who are unable to pin their faith on the personal feature of the absolute are given a chance to associate with his virata roop or the cosmic impersonal feature of the lord the cosmic impersonal feature of the lord is a feature of his unlimited potencies since the potent and potencies are identical even the conception of the impersonal cosmic feature helps the conditioned soul to associate with the lord indirectly and thus gradually rise to the stage of personal contact maharaj parikshit was already directly connected with the personal feature of the lord shri krishna and as such he had no need to inquire from shukdev goswami about how and where the apply of mind in the impersonal virat roop of the lord but he inquired after a detailed description of the matter for the benefit of others who are unable to conceive of the transcendental personal feature of the lord as the form of eternity knowledge and bliss the non devotee class of men cannot think of the personal feature of the lord because of their poor fund of knowledge the personal form of the lord like ram or krishna is completely revolting to them they have a poor estimation of the potency of the lord in the bhagavad gita 9.11 it is explained by the lord himself that people with a poor fund of knowledge deride the supreme personality of the lord taking him to be a common man such men are ignorant of the inconceivable potency of the lord by the inconceivable potency of the lord he can move in human society or any other society of living beings and yet remain the same omnipotent lord without deviating in the slightest from his transcendental position so for the benefit of men who are unable to accept the lord in his personal eternal form maharaj parikshit inquired from shukdev goswami how to fix the mind on him in the beginning and the goswami replied in detail as follows टेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री श्री शुक उवाच जितासनो जित श्वासो जित संगो जितेन्द्रिय स्थूल भगवत रूपे मन संधार ये धिया शुभदेव गोस्वामी आंसर्ड वन शुड कंट्रोल द सेटिंग पोस्चर रेग्युलेट द ब्रीदिंग प्रोसेस बाय द योगिक प्राणायाम एंड दस कंट्रोल द माइंड एंड सेंसेस एंड विथ इंटेलिजेंस अप्लाय द माइंड टू द ग्रॉस पोटेंसीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड कॉल्ड द विराट रूप The materially absorbed mind of the conditioned soul does not allow him to transcend the limit of the bodily conception of self, and thus the yoga system for meditation, controlling the sitting posture and breathing process, and fixing the mind unto the supreme, is prescribed in order to mould the character of the gross materialist. Unless such materialists are able to cleanse the materially absorbed mind, it is impossible for them to concentrate upon thoughts of transcendence. And to do so, one may fix one's mind on the gross material or external feature of the Lord. the different parts of the gigantic form of the lord are described in the later verses the materialistic men are very anxious to have some mystic powers as a result of such a controlling process but the real purpose of yogic regulations is to eradicate the accumulated dirty things like lust avarice anger and all such material contaminations if the mystic yogi is directed by the accompanying feats of mystic control then his mission of yogic success is a failure because the ultimate aim is god realization he is therefore recommended to fix his gross materialistic mind by a different conception and thus realize the potency of the lord as soon as the potencies are understood to be instrumental manifestations of the transcendence one automatically advances to the next step and gradually the stage of full realization becomes possible for him hari krishna